Eventually, I did rise from my sleep, somehow fully refreshed and calm. How could that have been? Did you have a good rest? I turned my head to see Diana at the door, arms crossed and leaning against the door's archway. She had a look of concern and pure curiosity on her face as she awaited my answer. Are you okay? Diana stared at me, slightly shocked. Did she not expect me to ask? Huh. Well, yes, I'm fine now that I've had proper rest. That's good. Diana shook her head and stepped into the room, closing the door behind her. So we need to find another way to get you back to the human world. It won't be easy, but I believe it can be done by tonight, at the latest. Tonight? Really? Diana nodded and crossed her arms again, leaning on one hip. It will take time to get our shadow agents to gather the necessary supplies, but they are not hard to obtain, being that we're in a position of power. You must be lucky. What do you mean? <sighs> Diana sighed before casting a short spell under her breath. In front of me appeared a floating map, almost like a hologram. It showed an entire world with mountains, plains, and forests. And... And it all was surrounded by sea and water. Diana pointed at a marker that had a purple banner at its tip. It was marked in the center of some mountain and forest area. It was almost the center of the map. That is where we are currently, the center of the Abyssal Plains. Diana then ran her finger in a circle around the marker, showing a perimeter around it. Everything we need for the spell is within this area. It will just take time to gather the materials and prepare it. I nodded, understanding the situation. I was going to hopefully be able to go home tonight, which was better than not going home at all. So, what should I do until then? My suggestion? Stay in this room. I can mark this room as off-limits so that no demon may enter that would confuse you for an intruder and kill you. I gulped. I did not want to die. As Diana made the magical map disappear, she shrugged. However, I cannot stop you from whatever you wish to do. Just don't leave the castle. I nodded as she turned to leave. As she stepped out, Diana looked back to me with a reassuring look. We'll get you back to the human world. I promise you that. Finally, she left me alone in the room. I let out a small sigh and looked up at the ceiling. I had to wait until tonight to actually do anything. What was I going to do? Part of me agreed with Diana's suggestion, wanting to stay in the room and be safe in case the guards didn't know who I was and would kill me on sight. My curiosity, however, wouldn't leave me alone, and I wanted me to explore the kit. Mm -hmm. My curiosity, however, wouldn't leave me alone and wanted me to explore the castle. I was handed an opportunity to explore a castle in the demon world. Part of me did not want to let it... Oh. My curiosity, however, wouldn't leave me alone and wanted me to explore the castle. I was handed an opportunity to explore a castle in the demon world, and part of me did not want it to go to waste. I was torn on what to do. Explore. If I remember this correctly... There was no way I was letting this chance pass me by. I stood and walked towards the door, opening a crack and looking around. There was no one in the hall, but there were two directions to go. Which way? Left. I went with left. I closed the door behind me as I exited my room and began to make my way down the left corridor. Everything was definitely medieval style, and I felt a bit small in the hall. It was like I was in a fairy tale, walking around in a wedding dress. <laughs> it felt almost dreamlike. The passage seemed long, decorated with wall candles, paintings, and random curtains and flowers. It was mythical to see, and I smiled. As I approached another fork in the hall, however, I sighed. Really? How does anyone find their way around? I looked back, knowing I hadn't walked far from my room. I could turn back. Yet, I think it was right? I was heading left, so I decided to go in the opposite direction this time. I turned right and headed down the hall, greeted by more fantastical d decor. The hall became longer and longer as I continued to walk. However, I suddenly stopped at the sound of a shout. <laughs> Beware my evil reign and bow to your new overlord! <laughs> yes, I found
found it. Oh my god, this is great. <laughs> what the? I turned towards where the shout had, was erupting from and saw a door ajar. As I peeked into the room the door led into, I stared at what I saw. A floating creature was standing over the top of the table that held a map and miniature pieces as if someone had set up a strategy board game. The creature was planted on top of a red marker as if the marker was their mount. I will rule the entire world and no one can stop me because I am the demon lord! <laughs> as it switched to a different personality, the creature quickly jumped and floated over a to a purple marker, striking an exaggeratedly sexy pose. Oh no! I will stop you with my massive boobies and butt powers! <laughs> I will rule this world, not you! And everyone will love me! <laughs> I watched as the creature bounced back and forth between pretending to be the demon lord and Diana, lost and intrigued at how small and quick they were. <laughs> Your boobies cannot scare me, for I have a penis, <laughs> and penises ward off fear. <laughs> oh my god, this is great. That's hilarious. You may have a penis, but I have an army that practically worships my overly curvy and ridiculously perfect body. Uh, oh, oh. <laughs> I stifled the laugh. This was actually rather amusing to watch. Seeing the creature imitate the demon lord and their own leader. Then come here, and I will show you the true power of a demon lord. Soldiers, attack! I stared as the creature suddenly formed multiple little miniature soldiers on the opposite sides of the table, using magic to make them flash and smack against each other, as if an invisible child was playing with them. They were even some small, squeaky stuffed animals and glass figurines smashing and crashing together. It was a chaotic little show. Oh no! We're being overrun! Do not hold back! We'll beat him! Ugh! Someone's having fun. I couldn't stop the laughter from erupting from my stomach. I began to get amused by the little show I was witnessing. <laughs> <laughs> the creature, in surprise, poofed into a cloud of smoke before appearing and falling back over to the side of the table in its regular size. Or at least what I assumed to be the regular size. Whoa, I'm sorry, are you okay? I'm okay! The creature managed to hop up and started floating again beside the table, giving me a thumbs up as if nothing was wrong. Their clothes were a bit disheveled, but they gave me a toothy grin. Hiya! <laughs> Hi! Sorry for disturbing your, um... Huh? Oh! My game! It's okay! I was just getting to the good part! The good part? The creature nodded before leaning over the table and rearranging all the figurines that still remained on it. Yeah, when Diana kills the demon lord and takes over the world! Oh, uh... The way that they put it made it seem like Diana was going to be an overlord. Was she really trying to take over the world? The creature looked at me and chuckled. Oh, you don't know what's happening, huh? Well, we're all fighting the Demon Lord, and by we, I mean me and Diana and the others. But anyway, we're fighting the Demon Lord because he's a tyrant and we don't like tyrants, so we're going to kill him and take over. They made it seem so simple and so joyous. You guys are really going to kill him and take over? Huh? Uh, duh! The Demon Lord is completely crazy! He's burnt down so many villages and destroyed so many forests! He's only causing us harm! That's why we have to stop him! The creature then put the purple marker next to the red marker, glaring at both. We have to kill him before he hurts anyone else! 
With a flick of their wrist, they used their purple marker and knocked the red one over violently, making it skid across the table towards the edge. Just from the look on their face, they seemed peeved about the demon lord. I would be too. Hell, I already was. You all will win. The creature looked at me. <clears throat> the creature looked up at me before letting go of the marker and placing their hands behind their head with a grin. You think so? I nodded with a reassuring smile. They seemed confident enough to battle the demon lord, and if it was for the best, then it had to be done. The creature nodded back to me before yawning. Hmm. So, you're gonna marry a demon, huh? W what? I stared at them, unsure of where the change in topic came from. The creature laughed a bit. <laughs> Don't tell me you forgot! Oh no, it's not that. It's just, where did that come from? Well, you are heading home tonight. This is my only chance to ask why. Why? Yeah, why a demon? Why not another human? I mean, I'm not against demons and humans getting together or whatever. But I was just curious, you know? There are like billions of humans on your world. Why a demon? I took a moment to think about the demon in question whom I was marrying. His face made me smile, and the thought of being able to be with him again made my heart warm up in excitement. His presence remained in my heart, and I knew my answer. Because I love him. You love him? Yes, I do. The creature stared at me as if I had three heads. Was what I said wrong? No, it couldn't have been because it... <clears throat> the creature stared at me as if I had three heads. Was what I said wrong? No, it couldn't have been because it was true. And yet, the creature continued to stare at me oddly. What? Huh? Oh, nothing. It's just weird. What's weird? Love. It's just weird, okay? But if it works for you, that works, I guess. It's not like I'm the one getting married. Honestly, that's the best attitude to have about it. Who cares who marries who? I stared at the creature, unsure of what they meant. However, before I could question them, they yawned and stretched out. Alright, I'm gonna steal some snacks. You should head back to your room or whatever so that Diana doesn't catch you snooping around. She doesn't like snooping. Or was it swooping? <laughs> Coming from you, it could be either. The creature shrugged as I nodded. It was probably for the best I returned to my room. I knew my way back, so I left the room and returned to my room. I remained in my room until the end of the night came. Ugh. I remained in my room until the night came. I was given food, which looked like soup. The woman who gave it to me apologized, letting me know that food was scarce until the upcoming harvest, which was a couple of days away. Being that I was only staying the day, I didn't mind much. I was more concerned over what I was given to eat. It was some sort of stew with mysterious chunks swimming in its broth. It smelled surprisingly good, but who knew how it tasted? Yeah, just shut up and fucking eat it. I gulped. I had to try it. I had to eat it. I hadn't eaten in two days, even before I came to the demon world. I was pretty certain Diana wouldn't poison me now, and I was fairly sure that she wouldn't serve me anything disgusting. I lifted the spoon that was sitting in the broth, letting it capture some of the stew as it rose. I mean, it wasn't terribly scary to look at. I gulped and slowly brought the spoon to my lips, feeling the heat emanate from the stew. A knock rapped on my door, breaking me out of my train of thought. Huh? Come in! The door opened to reveal Diana with a plate holding things I recognized. Bread and cheese. I let out a heavy sigh of relief before Diana laughed. <sighs> I suggest not trying that. As good as it smells, the taste would not sit well with you. Instantly, I moved the bowl to the nearby table, thankful that I did not have to try it. Diana handed me the plate and nodded, reassuring me that what was on it was indeed what it seemed. It's not much, but it's human food. Eat up. I will. I began to chow down, feeling the hunger in my stomach dissipate with each bite and swallow. The food I was eating, surprisingly, was delicious. As I began to crave something to drink, Diana chuckled and formed a small goblet in her hand, filled with clear liquid that I assumed to be water. I took it and drank it down, feeling my thirst quenched before I let out a sigh. <sighs> ah, I feel so much better. I can tell. Take a moment to finish eating, then we'll head for the ritual. 
I looked up at Diana, suddenly excited. Everything was prepared for? Was it possible to go home now? As if she read my mind, she smiled and nodded. We finished the main preparations. We just need to head over and we'll start. I couldn't continue eating. My mind went into an obsessive frenzy of wanting to go home. I stood up, moving the plate and goblet to the nearby table. Let's go. Huh? Are you sure? I nodded, not wanting to waste any more time. I needed to get home, and I was tired of waiting. Diana stared before nodding and heading for the door, opening it for me and exiting after me. As she closed the door behind her, I began to feel my heart flutter in relieved joy. I was heading home.